That's today. The freeze on energy prices at current levels has just expired. Gas and heating are also becoming more expensive. This is another blow to household budgets. Let's remember about food. Let's remember about fuel. More or less 130 zwotis per month are lost because there is no fuel at 5 zwotis 19. And now this is the biggest hit since the 1st of July. But in a parallel reality, such a hit is a real pleasure. Poland's Deputy Minister of Climate and Environment argued that Poland's poorest families will earn from the current increases. And this is all thanks to the energy voucher, which will cover roughly 20% of households. Today, with a family of two to three people, a two to three person household, just for an energy voucher it is 400 zwoty. When it comes to such households that have invested in heat pumps, it is once again that much, 800 zwoty. A family of six, 600 zwoty energy voucher, 1200 zwoty support if someone has a heat pump. Only the voucher will cover the poorest who cannot afford heat pumps. To admit in these calculations in the jumps in prices of virtually all utilities and to present the issue in this way is to distort reality. This was pointed out by Mr. Dorajala's ally from the new left. I have the impression that he didn't count exactly what he said. On the other hand, I don't want to defend him because he should prepare himself for this type of statement. It is inevitable that there will be increases of 30% or more. This comes from the calculations. Perhaps some of the public will get some shielding tools, but on the basis that it will be to reduce the pain of spending more. However, rather than generally shame that these people will earn it. Z tytułu wydatkowania większych kwot niż generalnie pokazanie, że ci ludzie na tym zarobią. The government argues that most households will pay about 25 to 30 zloty more on each energy bill. The projected bills, however, show much more than that. The increase in electricity prices will be particularly hard on businesses and will inevitably drive up inflation. This means a self-reinforcing cost spiral that will squeeze our wallets with everyday purchases. And more increases are already on the horizon. The increases are real. They are a fact. They were made in two parts because on the 1st of July, so today, energy prices are rising. Then on the 1st of January next year, another increase. So the heating season will affect Polish households very badly. Next year, as of the 1st of January, energy prices will be 50% higher than they were as recently as June of this year. Nor injustice is warning. Jarosław Kaczynski's party has prepared a civic bill to stop the hikes, with more than 140,000 Poles signing it. Unfortunately, due to the decision of Speaker Szymon Hołownia, the same has not yet addressed this bill. If this bill were to enter into force, not only would there be no increases this year, but above all, there would be no increases in 2025 for millions of Poles in electricity, heat and natural gas prices. It was already cheap, that's true, but if costs continue to rise at this rate, we will still have time to miss the current prices. Maciej Strug, TV Republika.